My name is Sonny Asu, and I currently live in Montreal, Quebec. I think for me, my work is always exploring about who I am personally as, as a mixed person. Um, but I always self-identify as an Indigenous person. I'm Liku Takwakwakiwak from, from uh, British Columbia. So I always find that that conversation is the first and foremost uh, strength in my work. What I'd like the public to know about my piece, uh, 1884 to 1951, is it's a piece about Canada's history, essentially. Um, it really pairs two different wealth systems together. Uh, it talks about a potlatch society which sees wealth as in a dramatically different way than how our Western society sees wealth. Our Western society sees wealth by hoarding and keeping and displaying that wealth in posh, inanimate objects. Um, but a potlatch society gives all their wealth away and that's how they're deemed wealthy. Um, so essentially this piece talks about two different wealth structures, but also gives a bit of um, history about Canada's treatment of the Indigenous people, um, specifically uh, the potlatch ban, which lasted from 1884 to 1951. Um, so when you see the piece, 1884 to 1951, you're going to see 67 um, copper cups, uh, Starbucks grande size cups rendered in copper, um, to talk about the materiality and that wealth structure from the potlatch people. Um, and the coffee cup, to me, um, is kind of representing our, our, our Western wealth. Um, how we're able to walk into a place like Starbucks or Second Cup or whatever and buy a latte for seven or eight dollars and walk around town for that half an hour displaying our wealth subconsciously. Um, but we throw away that wealth when we're finished with it because that cup is worthless to us. And so in essence, um, the discarded piling of those cups um, kind of resembles how the Canadian government has treated the Aboriginal people in Canada for 137 years.